All right. I don't usually do topics or videos discussing these Disney Plus Marvel shows, but I got to talk about She-Hulk. So the season finale of She-Hulk happened today. Man, oh man, I was so hyped for this final episode. If you guys don't know, spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about spoilers. Last episode of She-Hulk was probably, hands down, the best episode of She-Hulk. Here's my thing. Going into this show, I was actually kind of hyped for it. First episode, great. But then every episode after just kept going down and down. And there was like some random filler episodes, like wedding episodes. Also, Titania. I Oh my god, that character was some... It's funny because that... I think it was Madison. I think that had her name. She shows up in one episode, and I thought she was going to be the most annoying character ever. I winded up loving her character more than any other character um, from that episode. Can we get a hashtag Wongers in the comments? <gasps> Wongers! Uh, well, oh. uh, okay. <laughs> First of all, it should have been six episodes. I thought it was six episodes. When someone told me it was nine episodes, I was like, are you... I gotta watch more of this. It's fun and 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 has some good parts here and there. But the thing is, there really is no story. The story is all over the place where the episode's only 30 minutes long. Also, it's a very short show. And I guess because of the CGI that they, they gotta do, so they don't wanna make it too long. The show is so short and the 30 minutes that you get, 27 of those minutes are just nonsense. And then the final three minutes is actually story progression. So there's this thing. The main plot is there's a group of guys that hate She-Hulk. They're like, you know, She-Hulk shouldn't have powers. Like women suck or whatever, right? So they form this group and they, they had a guy sleep with She-Hulk. And they got footage of her and pretty much like their sex tape. They, they filmed it. So they were going to expose She-Hulk to the world. They got She-Hulk angry. And that's pretty much what happened. The Daredevil episode was amazing. He showed up. I was scared that they were going to butcher his character. He's amazing. Every time Charlie Cox, Matt Murdock is on the screen. Daredevil, it's amazing. I love every second of it. So that whole episode was great. And then they ended off with like actual like drama. Like, oh snap, this this organization is trying to make She-Hulk look like the bad guy or like exposing her. So I'm like, holy crap, this lighthearted show is getting dark and, and actually interesting. Eight episodes in, we're actually getting a plot when there's only one episode left. Okay. <laughs> we get into the episode, episode nine. It starts off with Jen in the little chamber thing where they kept Abomination. She gets freed, and the only thing that she can't do is just turn to She-Hulk. She goes to Abomination's little retreat area because she left her apartment. She's no longer living at her house. She went to her parents, and, you know, it's cramping her style, so she just kind of wanted to get away. So she went to Abomination's little retreat area. Jen's friend, I don't remember her name, but she finds a way to get invited to this hideout meetup for all the She-Hulk haters. Obviously she can't go because it's a guy thing. So she recruits the dude that collects shoes. I don't remember all these characters name. He goes there and he has a little like AirPod thing in his ear. And I don't know, I guess none of the people in the hideout questioned his little AirPod thing. But anyways, he goes there and he finds one of the dudes that went on a blind date with She-Hulk in a uh, earlier episode. He bought like a Wakandan spear or something. He's, he's like a nobody. Okay. <laughs> he bumps into them there and he's like, oh snap, I know you. You were a lawyer or whatever at the firm and you think that it's going to be busted. You you hate She-Hulk too, right? And then the guy had to play along. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they're talking it up. They're talking how much She-Hulk sucks. And the good guy was saying... So, um, you know, what brought you here? Talking to that, that random guy. And the guy says, oh, I'm, I'm the one that created this. I'm the king. I'm, I'm the head honcho. Everyone thought that it was going to be like the leader or someone big of importance that was the, behind this. It was this Joe Schmo that was behind this. That was the first strike. I was like, oh, God. Oh no. And then it gets worse. It gets, it gets worse. They have their meeting. They're sitting there and She-Hulk is talking to one of the former members of the Wrecking Crew. Uh, he, he turned a new leaf and he says, oh yeah, Abomination's no, he's, he's at, he's at a meeting or something. You guys are piecing the puzzle together. The, the She-Hulk rally starts and the King She-Hulk hater says, 
We got a special guest. Abomination. And here comes Abomination walking in. Full Abomination form. Even though he signed a, a deal saying he wouldn't turn to Abomination. He turned Abomination. And he's he's running or a co-host of this rally. That's strike number two. They should have just had Abomination be the main leader. And not this Joe Schmo guy. It gets worse. She-Hulk goes and opens a door. Which I don't even remember her going and finding this location. But he, she opens a door. And the door leads into the rally that they're at. She's there and she just sees all these men hating She-Hulk. And she sees Abomination. Abomination's like, oh, I can explain. Blah, blah, blah. I'm doing this for side money. Abomination's not even bad. He's actually still a good guy. Quote, unquote. He's just doing it actually for money. He was there because he was paid to. But She-Hulk gets mad. And then, all of a sudden, like, She-Hulk's friend busts through the door because uh, she lost signal to the communicating... I think the guy's name was Pug. Yeah, he lost uh, communication to Pug, so she busts through the door. And then Jen's like, what are you doing here? And then all of a sudden, Titania busts through the door. What is she doing here? How, how in the world did she get information on where this location's at? And then, Bruce Banner Hulk shows up out of nowhere. He, he busts through the ceiling. And he's like, oh, um, Abomination, you let go of my, my cousin. But Abomination was lifting up Jen to save her from getting attacked by Joe Schmo because remember that one side plot where the Wrecking Crew tried to get She-Hulk's blood? Yeah, the guy that slept with She-Hulk apparently got her blood, which they never show. And he uses that blood, injects it into himself, so he becomes a Joe Bro hulk and he tries to attack she hulk and abomination lifts and saves she hulk but hulk shows up and sees abomination has she hulk so then they start fighting and then everything just like pauses and she hulk breaks the fourth wall and then she pretty much breaks disney plus she breaks out of her show and talks to the writers of the show and saying why this finale doesn't make any sense and they she wants to talk to kevin about this and they the writers are like no you can't talk to kevin no one talks to kevin but then she beats up a bunch of people as she hulk goes and talks to kevin and it winds up kevin not kevin feige but kevin is a robot ai intelligence that is programmed to make marvel movies and shows okay. <laughs> and she hulk is talking to kevin about how this finale is a mess and kevin's like oh i know what i'm doing or whatever kevin's like what what would you change about this finale so she hulk's like okay let's first get rid of hulk because it makes no sense that he's here and and kevin says but but we were gonna have him explain why he was gone on earth uh, and then she hulk saying, no, we don't want to hear about that. They erase Hulk from the episode. And then they're like, let's turn Abomination back to normal human form and not full on Abomination. So Kevin does that. She also says, let's take away bro Joe Hulk uh, and just make him a normal guy and not have the blood storyline. So he took away that. They didn't take away Titania. She was still there. And then she's like, let's add Daredevil because... She loves Daredevil and she got to smash. Yeah, and then Kevin just made a bunch of jokes about CGI and how they can't afford uh, to keep on having She-Hulk be She-Hulk and it's, it's very pricey. They're using their budget for another Marvel project and when they said that, the little like Black Panther Wakanda theme kind of played in the background, which I thought was kind of funny. It cuts back to She-Hulk in She-Hulk form talking to the, the, the King Hater guy and she says that she's going to take him to a court and funny thing is we see daredevil just drop in out of nowhere in broad daylight it's so weird seeing daredevil in daylight but i'm actually for it it's hilarious daredevil, daredevil shows up and and uh he's like oh wait did i miss it and she also yep every, everything's done but it's good to see you and then you know they have a little, little flirty thing i'm actually team daredevil and she Hulk together I'm, I'm for that relationship i actually like them a lot but then we cut to I kid you not, She-Hulk has a Fast and Furious family picnic scene at the end of the show. Daredevil, Matt Murdock is having dinner uh, with the family and Jen is there and everyone's talking it up and, and Jen's dad saying, oh, uh, kids, when are you having kids? Can you, 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 you run your own business out in Hell's Kitchen? Does it make money? And, you know, they're talking about all that. Here comes Bruce Banner Hulk. He shows up. For the family. You gotta have family, baby. You gotta have everyone there for the family dinner. So he shows up and he actually says, Sorry, I've been gone. I've been off planet. I, I can explain. Meet my son. 
And I believe his name was Scar. So I guess the whole family is going to be there. Hulk left planet to get his son. And now we got another Hulk on planet Earth. There's an after credit. Emil Blonsky, Abomination, goes to the prison thing again. And he gets freed by none other than Wongers. Oh, Wongers. Uh, uh, well, oh. uh, okay. <laughs> Wongers back. He frees Abomination and brings him to uh, Kamataj. So I guess maybe we'll see Abomination for a future project. Maybe he'll show up in uh, Thunderbolts. Who knows? That would be cool. That was the mess that was She-Hulk. Holy crap. If it seemed like I was just rambling for the past... I don't know how long. It's because that's what the episode... I literally told you guys the order of what the episode was like. It's that unorganized. It was that crazy. I, I understand She-Hulk breaks the fourth wall and all that. And I, I actually kind of like it. But this episode was just so ridiculously unorganized that it, it, like, it, it made me kind of upset. Because the last episode, the Daredevil episode, was so good. They set it up so well with the, a story plot... All they had to do was make that pay off. They had to stick the landing. But instead, they jump off a super high skyscraper and broke their legs. The show had so much potential. I think it also sucks the 30-minute time limit. If it was an hour, maybe they could have fleshed out more of the, the plot. But also, they can't afford the CGI. The CGI was very spotty throughout the show. And it shows because they can't afford it. So that's why the episode was so short. But at that point, cut out all the nonsense. Like the wedding episode, whatever. Just cut that out. There's so many. The Megan Stallion episode, what? Just cut that out. And they could have honestly made this one Disney Plus special. Like Werewolf by Night. I watched that. That was great. It was like uh, 55 minutes. One Full on thing, not an episodic thing. They just released it. It was great by itself. They should have done that with She-Hulk. Make it 55 minutes and just cut out all the unnecessary crap and just keep the main plot. And that would have been great. They they want to make it episodic so that people would keep their Disney Plus subscriptions. And it works. People keep them to watch these episodes every week. They know that if it's a one episode thing or one off thing, people would buy Disney Plus, watch it, and then cancel right away. Honestly, I'd probably do the same thing. They just need to stop with these Disney Plus shows because I, I don't, I'm not going to say I hate them, but they have not been amazing. Miss Marvel, I have not even finished the show yet. I waited for all the episodes to come out to binge watch it. I watched four episodes and I can't for the life of me finish the, the series. I'm two episodes away. And I just am not interested. Not everything needs to be a TV series. And I'm glad that they announced that Armor Wars with the War Machine is no longer going to be a, uh, a Disney Plus series. It's now going to be a full-fledged movie, which thank God it's a full-length movie because if it was a Disney Plus show, we can almost guarantee that we're going to see Rhodey not in the War Machine outfit at all. We'll see him like once because they can't afford the budget. If you're going to release a Disney Plus show, put put a lot of time into it. Make it good. She-Hulk she was one of my most anticipated Disney Plus Marvel shows. And it just, it just failed. I really hope Daredevil gets a proper show. It's done right. I, I pray. I pray. <laughs> because if this is what the future of Disney Plus shows are... Just make it a one-off hour length movie and, and call it a day because I can't sit through week by week for these subpar episodes where the plot doesn't make any sense. Let me know what you guys think. Well, were you guys disappointed of the final episode of She-Hulk as much as I was? It could have been fun. It could have been awesome. It just was all over the place and I, I, I did not like it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give She-Hulk as a series. I'll probably give it like a 6. 6 out of 10. That, dude, the Daredevil episode bumped the show up like two points. And I I was hoping this finale was going to bump it up even more. And I was going to give it like a seven or something. But yeah, I... I what did I give it? I, I forgot my rating already. I, I give it a six. It, it's... it's You know what? Honestly, the more I think about it, I'm probably going to give it a five. Okay. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this little discussion video. I just wanted to give my thoughts on She-Hulk. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Ring the bell icon so you guys can be notified every time we upload a brand new video. Mine's on Cage Games and you just got Cage. Back to another I every single time at today. We're in Canada. And you know what Canada has? Boys are freaking us. Because we're in the mother of Canada, I need some backup. Hey, what up, you guys? It's your boy, Uncaged Games. 